breaking news in the world of technology. According to StatCounter, Linux for desktop has surpassed a significant milestone, reaching over 4% market share for the first time ever. StatCounter, a reliable source for tracking web browsers, operating systems, and search engines, has been monitoring the rise of Linux on the desktop. But what's driving this increase in Linux adoption? Let's delve into the reasons behind this historic achievement. Firstly, the stringent hardware requirements of Windows 11 have played a significant role. With the launch of Windows 11, many computers needed to support TPM 2.0 leaving users without compatible hardware stuck on Windows 10, which was released in 2015. Additionally, the recent 24H2 update for Windows 11 further altered the hardware requirements, forcing even more users to seek alternatives. Unlike Windows 11, Linux distributions don't impose such severe restrictions. While most mainstream Linux distros have discontinued 32-bit support, users can still find distributions that cater to their hardware needs without the need for TPM 2.0 or Secure Boot. Furthermore, installing Linux has become increasingly straightforward thanks to significant improvements in installation processes. With the shift towards online computing and more software vendors releasing apps for Linux, the barrier to entry has been greatly reduced. Lastly, in today's economic climate, saving money is more important than ever. Many individuals are opting to revive older computers with Linux rather than investing in expensive PC upgrades. Reviving older computers not only saves money, but also benefits the environment by keeping electronics out of landfills. In conclusion, the rise of Linux on the desktop can be attributed to a combination of factors, including hardware restrictions of Windows 11, improved accessibility of Linux, and cost-saving measures. With Linux continuing to gain momentum, it's clear that the future of desktop computing is becoming increasingly diverse.